everyone and welcome back to another train simulator video. So holiday travellers out in higher numbers than expected. London Victoria has become very crowded. Battle your way through the signals and traffic as you make your final approach into Victoria. Now we have actually done this scenario before but it's just such a great scenario. I thought we'd come and do it again. And it's in the 489. A uh, bit of a challenge. Also a slight detour as well. So it's a, a, quite a, just a very cool scenario. So um, let's give it a go. Um, do that. Yeah, we take the Battersea reversible line. So we sort of, well, we just take a different way. It's, it's a slight detour. So we are here at the moment. So there's Clapham Junction down there. So we've somehow managed to... I suppose maybe we came from the depot, maybe. Yeah, because we, we, we surely wouldn't be able to cross all of these these lines, would we? Well, we somehow made our way. I guess we've... I don't know what way we would have come from. But we're going this way anyway. Um, so yeah, we've got to go around here, and then we're taking a slight detour up here, then round through here, and in fact that's, no, we're not going down there, I think the points aren't set yet, but yeah, uh, we're taking a slightly interesting journey, a, a slightly, a, a way you probably haven't seen before unless you saw the other video, and in the 489, even better. Uh, let's get the headlight on, there we go, in fact let's just take a screen, it's just a nice, such a nice train, look at that. But this is the Gatwick Express. Well, it's the old Gatwick Express. Not the current Gatwick Express. Let's get a, uh, another screenshot. I'll probably end up getting a few on the journey because I love the 489. Um, take that off. Uh, I think we're all good, pretty much. Yeah, I don't see any reason why. We can't go, and yeah, we've got the 73 at the back. Look at that. It's great. Let's get back to the front. We can't go very far. As we have got that, um... Signal. Oh, that was a single yellow back there, so... I'll keep the HUD on for this one. This is on a line we don't... Whoa, we don't usually go on. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Can we get the window open? Not in this one. We now have a siren. It's not a bad horn, although it does sound a bit like a siren if you keep doing it. Okay, I apologise for the uh, the ear spam there. <laughs> Round we go, though. So it seems like, yeah, trains are taking this way into Victoria, which is uh, a slightly more interesting way. Yeah, brilliant. Let's um, pause break and then we can get another nice screenshot here. Oh, that's quite nice actually. No! Hard. Yes, there. Right, try and get that screenshot again. Yes, I like that. Um, let's get back in. Don't want to get a spad. As we are coming back up to a red. But yeah, this comes with. It's almost like two trains in one, I guess. Uh, this comes with the Class 73 pack. Um, yeah, so this gives you the 489 and the 73. There's also another pack as well, which I've got, which gives you the uh, the 73. Oh, that's the 460. Yeah, that's the 460. Yeah, because if you get the 460, you get the 460 as well as the 73 in Gatwick Express livery. Whereas on this one, you get it in the, I suppose, the original Gatwick Express livery. It's the older one. So you get a couple of options. I think... I, I can't remember who bloody makes the, uh, this one. Yeah, I'm going to look it up. Because I, I got mixed up last time. I think it is Dovetail who made this. Or is it Master Key Simulations? I feel like they probably have done both. But let me have a look. Steam Store. Let's see. Class 73. I've got a feeling it is dovetail, but then something comes to mind that it's not. Uh, class 73. Let's have a look. TS Pro. It is It is dovetail. Yeah, the 73 is dovetail. 2016 this one come out. Very nice interior as well. 
I should really be running on third row at the moment, but it seems to be it's uh, in diesel. Or is it? No, it is on diesel, yeah. Yeah, I must get back in. Accelerates quite quickly. Now it'll come down to, and even the brakes will come down to 15. So yeah, it's just like, whereabouts are we at the moment? Like The first time I did this, I got, got really sort of confused. I was like, hang on, whereabouts are we? But yeah, you've got the southwest main line there to the left. So we've sort of gone under the main line and then back under here. So this is the Brighton main line which you curl up onto here. So we go quite a, yeah, an interesting way. Then we come through here and then curl all the way back up. It's quite a route. <laughs> And then I think we even have to go under the southwest main line as well. So this is the way what London Overground trains would take. If they were going towards Clapham or off that way towards High uh Wands not Wandsworth, um Wandsworth Road and Clapham High Street. I think they're over that way. And then you've got the Chatham main line, which I think we will go under. That's the one from Battersea Park there. Yeah, we'll go under the Chatham main line in a sec as well. So yeah, it's quite a sort of peculiar journey. That's why I thought we'd do it again. And also I'm in the Galk Express mood, so why not? Oh, of course we're speeding. On a scenario, it's probably quite easy to get max points. We still screw it up somehow. So I'm guessing this was probably at Clapham Yard then. I doubt this would have been in passenger service. Unless it went a really weird detoured way. Very high up line there, look at that. That can't be, is that there realistically? Look at this here. So I guess it probably is, but surely it's got more supports than just that one there. There. Surely it's got more supports than that. Yes, TS takeaway points, I was looking at the scenery. And the strangely looking bridge, which looked like it would collapse very easily. Cool. Let me go up a really steep grade in a second. Which almost feels like you're going to get stuck. Yeah, look at this trying to get up here. So it's such just a sort of a faff of a route, but then it's a really cool route. Look at this. The grade change is just immense. It probably does say what this grade It's got to be like a 1 in 30. Without a doubt, a 1 in 30 or 1 in 40. One of the steepest grades I've bloody seen. Well, it's not a pleasant grade. Then you've got the Brighton Main Line again. So that's the Chatham Main Line, and that's the Brighton Main Line there. But yeah, it's quite a, um, yeah, an interesting route to get to where we need to go. <laughs> but we've done it, we go over the Thames. Got the shard over there. Which we'll see when this scenario is set probably wouldn't be there. Well no, it wouldn't be there. And then we then come into Victoria. But yeah, just a, a cool little scenario and um obviously in a route you've probably never seen before, obviously unless you did see the last video. What we did of this, which was winter time I'd say. No, I think it was January, yeah, January time. We probably did this, so um, about half a year back. I thought we'd just do it again as we did the 460 a couple of days ago. I thought we'd do another Gap Express one. Something a bit more interesting than just a, a line run, so why not? I'll bring that to a stop outside Victoria. And at some point I will be getting a few more trains as well. I'll be getting... Um, the 421, the 422 and the 423. Uh, probably prioritising the 423. I think that's the one for the Brighton Main Line. Get some old DC trains. 
similar to this, I guess. Speeding up to the signal there. And the little white bits at the front there. On sort of the third rail area. Or shoe pickup area. I actually don't know if these actually ever ran to side by side, the 377 and the, well, we've got your headlights on, and the um, 489. I don't think they would have, or would have. Well, they might have. Does anyone remember? Well, if it is 2003, then the 460, I think, was 2004. So they might have ran side by side. Yeah, quite possibly. As we wait outside Victoria to go in. Probably wait for that train, aren't we? But we're going to get the clear. Everyone's waiting. Maybe not. I'll be waiting for you. One of them. Oh, there you go. Went for that one, I think we were. That's power straight up. Oh, that's wheel slip. As we make our way into London, Victoria. Lovely. There's another service coming out. Yeah, another very good DLC you can pick up. The um, 73 if you own the Brighton Main Line. I'd say, I don't know, I suppose it doesn't really matter which one you get first, either. I mean, I suppose this one would make sense, get the 73 first before the 460, then you can sort of play the first Gatwick Express, then the second one being the 460, third one, the 442, and then the 387, which would be the AP pack. At the moment we don't have a Dovetail Games 387. I don't actually, I don't actually think we would get a Dovetail Games 387. Because we have got the AP one already, so I don't know if they would end up doing one. But here we are. I don't know, do you think we'll get a 387 by Dovetail? I don't think they would do a 387, because, well, we've already got one by AP. I think most of the time when Dovetail do something, there's then an AP pack for it, not the opposite way around. So I could be wrong though. Maybe we'll see one. And they'll be officially all four in the game. Although, hang on, 387, we've got one on TSW. Yeah, TSW2, which actually has the AP sounds. So I suppose to play the 387. You can then obviously head over to uh, TSW. So leave me right here. We are. This is uh, oh, this is good fun. There we go. Well, that is going to be everyone for today's train simulator video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. That was the 489 with the 73 on the back again. A crowded space scenario. Uh, links can be found in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch. So that's just about part two. Maybe we'll do that at some point. Um, but yeah, thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.